If a ball is thrown into the air with a velocity of 40, 40 feet per second, its height is given by this function, 40 minus 16 t squared. Find the average velocity over the given time intervals. In any case, the average velocity over time interval, let's say t1, t2, and we have height function, ht. The average velocity is given by the following formula, average velocity that is same as slope of second line slope of a line and we know slope of a line is rise over run rise means change in y coordinate run means change in x coordinate so in this case change in x coordinate means change in time so t1 to t2 that's t2 minus t1 okay this will be the run rise will be the corresponding change in height so height h h at t2 minus h at t1 okay when we have a height function ht then the average velocity over the interval t1 t2 is given by height difference in heights divided by different difference in time okay rise over run so we want to do we want to use this formula over and over this is first time is t1 t2 t1 t2 so basically here is t1 is 2 t2 is 2.5 so for a number 1 the average velocity will be height at 2.5 minus height at divided by 2.5 minus 2 this is the average velocity over the time interval 2 and 2.5 okay now evaluate this h at 2.5 that means here is the function plug in 2.5 here 40 minus 16 times 2.5 quantity square minus Evaluate h2 means replace t by 2 and subtract and divide by 2.5 minus 2.5 and use your calculator plug in everything you will have negative 72 in part 2 same thing time interval 2 to 2.1 so h at 2.1 minus h at 2 divided by 2.1 minus 2 evaluate the height at 2.1 the height function all you have to do is replace t by 2.1 you get height minus h2 replace t by 2 that's already found in back on the top here same thing divided by 2.1 minus 2 this is 0.1 and you will get negative 65.6 just repeat the procedure 3 2 to 2.05 so h 2.05 minus h2 divided by 2.05 minus 2 use your calculator as above you get negative 64.8 number 4 2 to 2.02 so h 2.02 minus h2 divided by 2.02 minus 2 use your calculator you'll get negative 64.32 and 5 2 to 2.01 same thing h 2.01 minus h2 over 2.01 minus 2 just evaluate the height minus evaluate the height at 2 then you will have negative 64.16 okay that's all about a and b it says estimate the instantaneous velocity when t equals 2 okay when time is 2 what is the instantaneous velocity okay look at this time intervals 
the second coordinate 2.5 2.1 2.05 2.02 2.01 these times the second times are decreasing to 2 that means the limit of limit of these average velocities will be the instantaneous velocity look at this look at the pattern okay 72 negative 72 65 they are approaching to negative let's say negative 64 so the all we have to do is the estimate so the instantaneous velocity is the limit of the average velocities when time is very very close to 2 so 2.01 2.02 they are approaching to 2 so i would estimate the instantaneous velocity to be negative 64 final and it's uh, feet per second